All right. Bob, we are here. We are here. Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, hope you has has. Hope you guys are having a good Christmas or something like that. Uh, hope you has a good and a good Christmas. Um, I am, but I didn't get that much of gifts. But that's not what matters. What matters is Jesus' birthday, and it's about spending time with your family. And that's no cap. Um, I don't have a Christmas story or nothing like that. So today we are going to be recapping what's going to be happening in 2021. So yeah, it's going to be a ride. So buckle up. We're gonna get started. January. Um, so something much happened in January, but I know that um last year in New Year's Eve that MF Doom died. And that really broke into me because I love MF Doom. He's like one of the best, one of my favorite uh underrated artists of all time. And yeah, he just makes simply adult swim music, to be honest with you. But I love that. I love that. You know what I mean? I love MF Doom. And I know what happened in 2021. It was a complete chaos. But that's not what we're going to stress in this video today. This is not politics, ladies and gentlemen. This is about um, anime and stuff and YouTube and new news. And yeah. <laughs> but we did. But some. Some. A little bit happened in January, but we did get new season two. But we get some good anime in the winter. Like, for example, season two of Quintessential Quintemplates, season four of Attack on Titan, and the second season that of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And that's pretty much what happened in January. Also, Juice World dropped Bad Boy, which Cobanet has been the red thing like coconut is on fire right now like in 2021 so yeah all right now february bobby smurda has been freed from prison and i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of happy for him like he has been locked up for like seven years now so i'm really well I don't know, seven years or six years to be exact, because he did get locked up in 2015. I'm not, I don't know, but um, he's been locked up for like a long time now. But I'm really pretty happy to see my man out here living, still doing good. You know what I mean? So congrats to Bobby Schroeder. Also, how you liking his music now? Because he's been dropping a lot of music lately in 2021. So, well, what do you think about him? Like, do you like him when he went this prime, or do you like him now in 2021? March. Not only I got a new phone in, 20, in 2021, like the Samsung Galaxy S9 that, that y'all see right now, but we did got uh, some new new music, like Drake and Silk Sonic, and not gonna lie, Leave the Door Open is like one of my favorite R&B songs in this year, to be honest. And let's not forget, people went to war. Like when Lil Nas X dropped "Call Me by Your Name," like people was going like on, going on rampages because people are going to hell for, by watching this video or something like that. But I am a Christian and I love God. But what I think about this video, good production. I gotta give you that. But all that Satan stuff, I'm not dealing with it. I'm sorry. No. April. Y'all know what was coming. Y'all hear the music in the background. Y'all heard it. Demon Slayer Moogie Train has finally freaking come out in U.S. theaters. Like, come on now. Like, you know me. I love Demon Slayer. It's like one of my favorites of all time. And I got nothing else to say about it. Like, I love Demon Slayer and all that. And some good anime happened in the spring, like Tokyo Revengers, which everybody's been made focusing on. Don't tell me Miss Nagatoro. Uh, people been liking that. Um, Higa Hero. Uh. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, to be honest with you. I don't know, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Anyways, um, also 86, 86, most underrated anime of all time. And 
Floyd Eye Song, I might not might saying that right, but Floyd's Eye Song is a banger. Like, go check it out if you haven't already. Like, the animation is top tier, and I wouldn't be surprised if it, had, if it was anime of the year because look at the production quality of this anime. And look at the fighting scene that they includes with this anime, bro. Like, come on, bro. They are boxing. Look at the hands, bro. All right. Let me calm down. Anyways, uh, that's what happened in June. Also, let's not forget the passing of DMX. Like, as you know me, I like DMX. Uh... And his music, Rough Riders Anthem, and Stop, Jot, like that song, like one of my favorites. Also, Party Up, I might be saying that wrong, but <sighs> rest in peace to the man. Like, he made a lot, it might, he inspired a lot of people in the rap industry now, and I don't know much about it, but I love BMX, and you know, rest in peace to Carl Simmons. What? Now I gotta come in, bro. When you forget how to uh, freaking read, bro. This man said Carl Simmons. Uh, let's replace that with the fifth le letter of the alphabet, and then it's Earl Simmons. Earl Simmons, also known as DMX. How this man did not know that, bro? Like, seriously. Like, come on, bro. May. J. Cole dropped the off season. If you know me, J. Cole is like one of my favorite artists of all time. And not only the best rapper. Well, let me stop. Let me stop. Uh, J. Cole is like one of my favorite artists of all time. And one of my favorite rappers of all time. And one of my favorite al albums from him is 2014 Four Hills Drive. Which I still got on repeat to this day. But the off season is like one of my favorites. And my life is, in my life, punching the clock, pride is the devil. And some of these amazing songs, I just like it. I love them, you know what I mean? And I heard that he's been signing a deal with the basketball or something. I might be incorrect by something like that. But props to J. Cole, I love him so much. Um, you continue on wherever you do, you know what I'm saying? Like music, basketball, wherever you do. Some tells me you're gonna pull that off, you know what I mean? So congrats. And I don't know what happened else in May, but also, Coaches and Snot finally dropped the song of the year. And knowing me, it's cool. It's a cool song, you know what I mean? It's a cool song, but not as cool as this. Trippy Ray to play both Cardi drop Mr. Rage, which is the most anticipated songs of the year. Anyways, that's what happened in May. June. Nothing particularly happened in June, to be honest. But but we did get new Polo G, Migos, and Pierre Bourne. And you really thought I forgot? Yeah. If you think I was going to conclude this album... You're wrong. Tyler the, I mean, Tyler, the creator, call me if you get lost. It's like one of my favorite albums, The Drop. July. Um, Nothing particularly happened in July, to be honest. But, hold on, it did happen in July. But we did get some summer anime, which is... It was eh. It was eh. But we did get a continuation of Tokyo Revengers, which is cool and all. But that's what that's really what good thing happened in summer. Summer, girlfriend, girlfriend though. Um, it was kind of mid. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie to you. It was kind of mid. To be honest, um, don't know what my favorite waifu is in there, but it was kind of mid. And to include the itchy anime for all your horny dudes out here, here's some Mother of Godness Demetri, which dropped this summer. Um. Don't know much about that. Well, I do know much about the anime because I watched it, but a lot of uncensored stuff that happened. Not gonna say it though. Because uh, I don't want this video to get demonetized. You know what I mean? But anyways, um it's uh that's what happened. Um also Lil Nas says to Jack Harlow dropped in she baby, which I like that song more than call me by your name, to be honest with you. Uh August. 
Corey X Kitchen finally returned to YouTube. And and that makes a lot of people happy to see him return because we all thought that he's gonna be retiring when she, when he hit 10 million subscribers, but he's not. Which that made a lot of people happy and including myself because he's like one of my favorite YouTubers of all that of that time. And that leads me to the another August, which Kanye dropped Donna because people has been looking for like people have been looking for that album for like a long time, but Kanye keep proposing it because I don't know. He been been to three concerts, two of them have been in Atlanta, and one has been his hometown, Chicago, which is okay. And most importantly, Baby King featuring Kendrick Lamar. Family Ties. Without a doubt, it's like one of my favorite songs of this year. Like, come on, bro. The beat, Baby Keys sliding in, and Kendrick with the golden verse? It's just amazing. It's just amazing. Like, come on now. We gotta give a props for that. Anyways, that's what happened in August. September. Drake dropped Certified Lover Boy. And my opinions, I'm not even gonna say it because this is not a music review. This is not album review. I'm not Sean C. I'm not Anthony Fantino. I'm not one of those dudes. But I'm just a dude who watches anime and makes YouTube content. Anyways, uh, Drake dropped Certified Lover Boy. And Baby Key dropped the Melodic Blue. And Lil Nas X dropped Montero, which is okay. But yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You hear that? Yeah, if you really think I'm gonna cook, this is gonna. <sighs> Come on now. If you really think I want a clue this show, you're wrong. Like the Korean show that's currently dominating Netflix right now, Squid Game. Ever since Squid Game's dropped, the whole country has been going the, like the whole country been going crazy over the honeycomb trend and the um, red light, green light. You know. In my opinion, Squid Game is like one of the best Netflix show of the year. Like, come on now. If you haven't watched Squid Game yet, go ahead and watch it. I know people have been talking about it because it's like trending and all, but promise me, promise me, go watch the show if you haven't. And yeah, that's what happened in September. October. Nothing particularly happened in October, um, but we did get a new Don Tolliver Live of a Dawn album, which is fire. And we did get a Demon Slayer movie train arc, which nobody um, has been paying attention about it because we're focused on the entertainment district arc. And people have already spent, 90% of the people I have been watching has been, have watched the movie Moogie Train. So that's not our main focus here. Also, they dropped, also Netflix dropped Call Me Can't Communicate, which is a pretty wholesome show if you don't, if you don't say, like, this show is pretty wholesome. Like, go ahead and watch it if you haven't already. Like, I love Comic Kids movie. That's the anime that I'm currently watching right now. So, yeah, go ahead and call, watch Comic if you communicate if you haven't already. So that's what I gotta say. And that's what happened in October, November, November. Not only I got my phone fixed, the back camera that is, but Netflix dropped Cowboy Bebop, and uh, and. People been getting a little bit, uh, a little feisty with the reviews or something like that. People been getting a little bit feisty. Like, some people say it's bad. But, in my opinion, I don't care what anybody say. Chan Joe does a, does a good, does a good role in Spike in Cowboy Bebop. So, I don't care what nobody says. John Cho did a good role in Spike. Speak. Um, and also, listen, Adele dropped 30. So that's what happened. And also, including my birthday too in November, because I was born in November 20th, 2001. Just wanna let y'all know that. I am now 20 years old. So, yeah. Now, that's what happened in November. December, um, Demon Slayer Entertainment District Art finally dropped. And us people, we be looking forward to it. The anime that I'm currently watching right now, and I'm really excited because of that, because I love Demon Slayer, and y'all know that by now. But anyways, that's all I gotta say.
by, by Demon Slayer. Also, Jump Festa has announced there a lot of stuff like Bleach 1000 Year Blood War arc and Chainsaw Man 2022. But I'm not gonna get to it. We're gonna wait that for another video. And yeah, that's pretty much sums up 2022. Nothing pretty much happened here. Uh, it's like a emotional roller coaster events and all years like that. 2022 is gonna be no different. Uh, it's gonna be a, high, a lot of lot highs and a lot of lows. What we're gonna do now is move forward and roll with the punches. Now like my man Tyra Woody just did. He just got knocked the freak out. Like, come on, man. How you a black boss that you got knocked out by a YouTuber? All right, that's just for me, though. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. Turn your notifications on. And that's all I got to say for this video. And yeah, peace.